Hey, welcome back to the show. You know, at some point, as a computer user, you'll have to buy a printer. Most likely, you'll get something like this, an inkjet. They're cheap and easy. And when you, when you do get one, you'll need to know how to set it up. And I tell you, it's super, super simple. Of course, you start here with the printer inside the box, which we've already opened, because that might take a long time to open that thing, especially if you're a small person like me. Now, when you open the box, you're going to see a lot of papers and some, maybe some styrofoam and just, oh, what well, looks like what we get here. We got some Epson matte paper. Oh, that's nice. That'll, that'll, that'll be nice. Uh, we've got, oh, this is very important. This is the disc that holds the drivers. And remember, the drivers are, are what allows your hardware to be recognized by your computer. It's the software that allows your hardware to work. So we've got the driver disc. It's very important. Let's put it here because we're going we're gonna to need to install that, which we've already pre-installed, but we're going to show you how that works. Uh, got some more paper here. Ooh, the ink. This is also very important, the ink cartridge, because if you don't have this, you ain't going to print anything. <laughs> That's important. So let's see here. What else do we have? Oh, oh we got. Oh, this is nice. And this is what I was, I was I was trying to explain to people earlier. This is the great thing about the hardware that comes out nowadays. Is it comes with these big sheets of paper that just instruct. It tells you exactly what it comes with. And it looks like I've got everything so far. And it gives you step by step instructions of what to do when you've opened it. And this thing is so easy to follow, step by step. But you know me. <laughs> So, and then I've also got the instruction manual. <laughs> Keep that on the floor. Uh, I've got also the instruction manual here and some attention. It says you always should download the latest drivers. It's very smart. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, this is something that I need to attach, it looks like. Oh, this would be something that would sit on the printer so the paper would go in nice and easy. There we go with that. And cardboard. It's important to recycle. I'm going to put that over here. Ooh, more. Ooh, they sent me a lot of ink. Look at this. Oh, my gosh. This is a lot of, look at these cartridges, these are nuts. All right, now we're going to lift this out, styrofoam, which we'll place right over there. Oop, power cable, very important, because if we don't have the power cable, it ain't going to be working. All right, we'll put that power cable right here, too. It's a lot of stuff. All right. Okay, got plastic sheet around the printer, which weighs about as much as I do. And now, let's see if there's anything, wow. They must have gone overboard with the cartridges, either that or, or, or I don't know. If, I don't think that it comes with this many cartridges, folks, but that's okay. Just I think it comes with one. We just put a lot in here. Now, I'm going to set this to the side here. All right. All right, then. Moving right along. All right. Look at that. It hasn't been touched. Okay. So now, actually, if we can come around here, I'm going to act. Let me turn it around for you. Let me show you. This one, this printer can be connected. It looks like it's got a connection for you. This is your, this is your parallel cable connection. And a parallel cable looks something like this. Where this is, the, this is the end that would be going into the printer here on the side if I wanted to use a parallel connection. But right beneath it, you see this little hole right here? This is a USB. This is a USB connection. So I'm actually going to use a USB cable, if I'm not mistaken, to connect these two, uh, these, well, the printer to the, to the computer. So now, uh, boy. Now I've got to get the tape off. See, it just takes a little bit to get the plastic off. And you know, it, it, it's, it's important to note, again, I mean, I threw the instructions back behind me, but you probably don't want to do that if you've never set up a printer before. Even though it is pretty simple, because this, this thing, I mean, you just plug it, you, you plug it in, and pretty much after you've installed the drivers, you'll be ready to go. It's kind of squeaky. There we go. Gosh, it's like Christmas morning, I swear. Alrighty then. It looks like we also have in here, when I open it up, get a plastic lie here. Gotta make sure you get all everything off or else it may not work right. A lot of tape. Looks like I've got the printer cartridge here it's sitting safe and sound in there. This is where I'm going to be putting the printer cartridge in here. That's where the printer cartridge would sit. I'm going to get the scissors. And let's see here. I'm looking around for the USB cable just to make sure that I don't didn't miss anything and don't see the USB cable. So since I don't have a USB cable, I'm going to connect it using the parallel cable. It's really easy. Really easy to do. Move around here. Try to get it out of knots. And you remember, I said it's over here. That's how easy it is. See, it's just like plugging anything, and you would just you would slide it in there. And then you would connect the other end to the PC. Now, the PC's parallel is right here. This is where, if you can, I don't know if you guys can see that down there. But this is, the parallel is usually sitting right next to the serial. This is the parallel. It's usually a little longer. And that's the serial. 
And so you'd be able, I'd be, I'd plug one end in here, and I'd plug the other end in here. And of course, then we've got, we would have one more cable, and this cable we would plug in right here, because that's where the power cable goes. We'd plug that in there, and we'd plug the other end down here into the UPS. And of course, the, you, you could you, you could plug it directly into the wall, or you could use a UPS, uh, 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 an uninterruptible power supply. So you, we use UPSs again so that we in case of power surges, that we would protect this equipment, because this probably costs maybe a hundred bucks or more. You never know. But once we'd have this set up, all we have to do is run the software, and again, using the driver disk, you would install the software, and some, it may even come with bonus software, and be able to run a, t a test page when it's all said and done to make sure it's running fine. But it's so super simple to do, there's hardly anything you have to worry about. Just make sure you have your driver disk, make sure you have the right cable, and make sure you have that power cable plugged in, and a cartridge, and then you'll be ready to go. Now,